So to describe an acquired adult flat foot deformity, I think we should break it up by each word. So acquired means something that is occurring, getting worse over time. Adult implies that this only happens in adult patients. Flat foot is just what you would think, it's a collapse of the arch. And deformity is an abnormal shape of the foot that the patient starts to notice. So the diagnosis is based on listening to the patient, who often, often describe a painful foot that's becoming flatter over time. We're also going to use physical exam to document tenderness along the course of the tendon and on the inside of the ankle and the foot. And we're going to use x-rays, which will show us that the bones have actually collapsed. This condition develops over time in a foot where the soft tissues on the inside of the ankle and foot are stretched or torn. This can occur in an acute condition, meaning a slip or fall, but more often occurs in a repetitive nature over time. So you may hear about four different stages of this condition. In the first stage, the tendon that supports and holds the arch up is tender and painful. In stage two, the tendon's torn. In stage three, your foot is flat and stiff. In stage four, your foot's been flat for long enough that it affects the ankle joint. You absolutely want to start your treatment with non-operative measures. These are going to often involve a trial of rest for the foot involving either the use of a boot or a cast. Your doctor may then recommend supporting your arch with the use of an insert such as an orthotic or a brace. And finally, your doctor is going to recommend strengthening your foot with either a home exercise program or physical therapy. Surgery is usually not considered until you've failed 6 to 12 months of dedicated non-operative treatment. Surgical options vary and are based on the severity of your condition. Oftentimes, the focus is on repairing the torn tendon, reshaping the bones of the foot, and if necessary, fusing the bones into a straight position. Recovery periods with this surgery are relatively lengthy. These are often outpatient surgeries, meaning you're home the same day, you're placed in a splint, which is a soft cast, until you your first visit with your doctor, who oftentimes will place you in a cast or a boot until the foot heals. Once healed, your, this will be strengthened by physical therapy. And it certainly depends on the type of work that you do. So if you're in a sit down or sedentary position already, you may be able to work one to two weeks after surgery. You should talk to your doctor if your job is more vigorous than that. Anytime we perform a surgical incision, we run the risk of infection as well as damage to underlying arteries and nerves. If your doctor recommends performing bone work, there's always a risk that the bone wouldn't heal or would heal in a bad position. Acquired adult flat foot deformity is a painful and debilitating condition that affects your foot. If you notice that your foot is becoming progressively flatter and more painful, please consult your doctor.